Hi, everybody. Happy to happy uh, Wellness Wednesday. Thanks for coming out. This is fantastic. Some of you I saw last week. We got some new folks here. Uh, today, we're going to continue talking about uh, what it means to be well. Uh, last week, we talked about wellness inside and out, and that's just you trying to feel good on the inside and on the outside. Um, wellness also is about the effort that you put into to being well. So last week, what we did was we talked about uh, wellness for your eyeballs because we have to be on Zoom meetings all day. And after a while, your eyes start to get really tired and it can cause headaches and other issues like um, not being able to see really well. And so we did 20, 20, 20. We practiced it and we're going to practice that again. Um, now, we also talked about what happens when you sit in a chair for too long and how your spine gets all scrunched up. Um, can somebody you put some of you put as a reaction uh, or in the chat if anybody did any stretching last week uh, after Wellness Wednesday or this week uh, to give your spine a rest? Did anybody do that? Or a spine? A, yes. Okay. Thank you, Marlene. There you go. Now, how how about did anybody do 2020 20 with their class? regularly, not just Thursday, not just the day after Wellness Wednesday, but those other days as well. Did anybody do 20, 20, 20 to give your eyeballs a rest? You can put that in the chat. I saw Valentino say, Valentina say no. <laughs> okay, so we'll work on that too, because we, we have to practice those things, of course. Um, so, and then we, uh, we went to my garage area and we did some, some stretching, some yoga, and we talked about making sure uh, that your spine is well taken care of. And we actually did a plank for about 10 seconds and we're gonna plank a little bit more today. Uh, we're gonna do a low plank and a high plank. So hopefully everybody is ready for that. But the first thing we're gonna start with, nice, hi, Sophia Matthews. Hi, Evelyn Gutierrez. Uh, now, and I think Ms. Tran snuck in. Hi, Anthony Bruno. Um, uh, first thing we're gonna do is talk about nutrition a little bit, okay? At school, we get to see what you're eating most of the time. Um, a lot of us, they go to Baker, eat breakfast and lunch at school. Uh, very few of us bring our lunches. And so we eat what the cafeteria gives. Uh, but a lot of the times um, on the way to school or maybe over the weekend or at home or at, at nighttime, you'll go to the store and you'll pick up little snacks. And then you have these little snacks and you take these little snacks to school. Okay, and sometimes those snacks are super healthy. And then other times those snacks are not that healthy. And so today I wanna to talk a little bit about the difference between healthy snacks and not healthy snacks. Now, before we start, I want everyone to know, I understand if you like the taste of hot Cheetos or Takis, okay? You guys can like put it in the chat. You can do a reaction, like a thumbs up as well. Uh, if you enjoy the taste of hot Cheetos or Takis, Cornelius, of course, representing. Thank you, Cornelius. Are we fans of hot Cheetos? Are we fans of Takis? Yes. I see Kiori's face. Yeah, because, because they're delicious, right? Thank you, Cassell. Takis are better in her opinion. Today's not really a comparison. Another little snack that we have and then we're going to talk about today. Actually, Marlena said yes, she likes those. Our chili mango snacks. So we have Takis, we have Cheetos, and we have chili mango snacks. Now, before we talk about what's going on inside of those, know that I went to the store the other day and I bought the bag of hot Cheetos, the bag of Takis, and this bag of chili mango snacks. And it cost me $5.80 total, okay? so. Everyone remember $5.80 in, in your brain. Not, not a ton of money, but enough money, okay? And then on everything that you buy, on the back there's these nutritional things that, you, that no one ever reads. And it has something called a serving size. So even though this is a gigantic bag of Takis, what it tells you is you should really only be eating 12 pieces at a time. Now, if I know anything about kids eating Takis, I know that you don't stop at 12, okay? And there's a couple reasons for that. One, as we pointed out, they are delicious. Two, they have that spicy taste in them and lime and a little bit of sugar. And then that makes our bodies want more and more and more and more and more. They're designed to have you eat them and eat them and eat them. So it's really hard to eat 12. In fact, this little bag 
that is one serving size of Takis. That means you should stop after you eat this many Takis. That's really pretty tough, okay? What we do know though, is that if you ate, let's say one serving size of hot Cheetos, 21 pieces, okay? That's, that, that's what they want you to eat. But what I know about Baker Kids is that usually the bags that you eat, oh gosh, are like this size, okay? So can everybody nod if this is the size of uh, hot Cheetos that you normally eat? This is the serving size, but you usually eat about this many, okay? So what happens with this is, if you ate this many hot Cheetos in a day, that would be enough saturated fat that you should eat for your entire day. I'll say it a different way. If you ate all of these hot Cheetos, that means that you should have no fat for the rest of the day at all. Hot Cheetos, and then you could eat like celery sticks for the rest of the day. Otherwise, it starts to give you a little bit too much fat and actually a little bit too much sugar too. But what we know about Cheetos is that they're super addictive. Addictive means that you want to keep eating them and eating them and eating them and eating them and eating them. That's how they're designed because they're spicy and delicious. Cheetos. But when you open the bag, you're not thinking, I want only 21 pieces. You're thinking, I really want like 147 pieces. And so that's when you start to get into trouble. The Cheeto company doesn't tell you that because they know that Cheetos are delicious. But when you do this, that means you should have no more fat for the rest of the day. So keep that in mind. Let's talk about chili mango snacks. Delicious, chewy, spicy. They got a little lime on them. Mmm, we like these. And snacks like these, we, we like these a lot. Every serving on these things is 20 grams of sugar. And inside this bag, there are four servings. So four times 20 is 80 grams of sugar, which you might not know how much sugar that is, but I'm going to show you. So let's say you've finished the whole entire bag in one setting. It's possible. You might give your friend some. 80 grams of sugar is that much sugar, which is a fair amount. So instead of eating this, it's like opening up this thing of sugar and just dumping it into your mouth in one setting. But why is that bad? Yes, Valentina, I know those are so good but they're not that good for you because when you eat 80 grams of sugar in a day, what happens is it makes you a little bit hyper and you go, oh my God, I've got all this energy, all this energy, all this energy, and then you crash. And then also when we eat too much sugar, it, it can make us gain weight faster than we really want to. So some sugar is okay. You should have a total of 50 grams of sugar a day. And you guys are kids, you're more active. So that would be like that much sugar in a single day and you're okay that'd be all right. But if you eat more than that, then it's going to start to cause different health problems. And also sugar really affects our mood. If we're eating candy and sugar so much, again, our mood goes up like that and we get all hyper and then <sighs> crash. It's probably why you get tired in the afternoons. Maybe you want to take a nap. Maybe you get extra cranky. It's probably related to sugar. So we talk about limiting the amount of sugar that you eat. Okay. Sugar is not bad, but all of this sugar in one of these chili mango things, it's not gonna be very good for you. Okay, let's talk about what you could do differently with $5.80. I also went to the store. You guys are gonna think I'm super boring, but I'm gonna present you with some alternatives. Let's say you didn't wanna buy a bag of Takis, a bag of chili mango snacks, and a bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos. For $5.80, I was also able to buy like 30 carrots, and two stalks of celery. Now, it would take me a long time to eat 30 carrots, a really good source of vitamin C, and there's a ton of fiber in celery. That's a lot. That was $5.80. For $5.80, I was also able to buy six Fuji apples, okay? That would feed me for more than just one setting, not too much bad sugar in that. And for $5.80, I was able to buy a thing of reduced fat peanut butter and a loaf of bread. So like we could buy, we could make 10 sam peanut butter sandwiches for the same amount of money that it would take for all that. And it's more healthy. Okay. So 
the reason I'm telling you this is not to be boring principle talk, but to let you know that if you're eating a ton of sugar and your mood doesn't feel right, or you're noticing that you're getting a little more agitated, it could be because of the amount of sugar that you've had. And then also when we eat sugar late at night, it makes us not sleep that well. Okay. And so think about it. If you have candy late at night, or if you have a cupcake or a brownie, and then you can't go to sleep, it's probably related to the sugar. And what we know is that we need as much sleep as possible um, so that we feel well. So we have too much sugar. There are a couple of ways to counteract that. If you feel like you've eaten too much sugar, make sure that you're drinking a ton of water. And then also what we want to do is burn that sugar off. Okay. So that's what every, we're all going to do right now. So hopefully you're in a spot where you could do a little bit of exercise and everyone's going to come with me to the garage. I know none of you are going to buy four stalks of celery right now, but it's food for thought. All right. Okay. We're in the garage now. It is workout time. If you joined us last week, then you know that we did a bunch of yoga stretches and we're gonna do that too. So everybody stand up if you can, okay? I see many of you standing up. And remember that if you don't want to be on camera, that's totally okay. Thank you, Ms. Schwartz, for standing up, okay? And we're gonna go back through all of the stretches that we did last time first, and then we're gonna try some planks and maybe some burpees if we have a little bit of time, okay? So our first stretch that we did last time, Remember, because we want to make sure that our spine is feeling nice and long at all times, okay, is our front bend, okay? So we're going to stand up, and even if you're just in your room or your living room, you have enough space just for you. We're going to take in a deep breath, and we're going to hold this for a little bit longer this time, okay? We're going to try to hold it for about eight seconds, and it should give you a nice stretch, and your back's going to feel good. So it's our front bend stretch. We're going to bend at the hips, all right? So... We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, as you blow out, we're just gonna fold over. So breath in and then exhale. And we're gonna to try to hold that here for eight seconds. And you should feel that all in the back of your legs. You come up nice and slowly. Okay, that one felt really nice. The next exercise that we're gonna do is the triangle, okay? Thank you, Kiri, good job. The next exercise, I'm gonna see who else is doing this. Valentina, good job. Thank you, Sophia. Anthony, you're still in bed, buddy, come on. CLC, what's up? Okay, now we're gonna do the triangle on both sides, okay? And we're gonna do a couple of these. We're gonna do five on each side, if we remember, we're using our body just like a triangle. So our legs are spread apart like this. So you can see me. Our legs are spread apart like this. And we're gonna put our right hand all the way up to the sky. Okay, we're gonna keep that hand nice and long. We're gonna look at that hand. Okay, we're gonna stay looking at that hand. And then with, the, with this hand, we're gonna bend down, keeping our legs straight. And we're gonna stretch and we're gonna to touch that leg. And then we're going to come back up. If you can't go all the way down, that's okay. If you have to bend that leg, that's okay. We're going to do it again. Ready? Look at that hand. This hand goes down and touches. Oh, it's a good stretch. Two. And so you're stretching all of this side of you and also your hamstrings behind. And if you've been sitting down all day, let's go three. Good. Your body's going to be super happy. We're going to go four. Keep those legs as straight as possible and keep looking at your hand. Okay. And then we're going to go five. Oh my. If you're old like me, this is a tough stretch. Okay. Good job. Excellent. Now we need to do the other side. All right. You should be feeling a little bit more loose. So whatever hand you didn't just use, switch that one. That one goes up in the sky and you're going to look at it. Okay. Legs are straight. They're a little bit wide. And with this hand, we're going to go down and touch. And if you can touch your foot, that's really good. One. Let's do another. Two. Three. Let's do another. 
forward. Let's do one more. Five. Okay. Excellent job. Look at you guys doing work. Very good. Very good. So now we're starting to get a little bit loose in here. Our side should be loose. That's a really good stretch. You can do that a couple times a day. Remember what we talked about last time. If you sit for like six or seven or eight hours, if you just do 30 minutes of exercise a day, you will make it so like you weren't even sitting down that long. Your spine's going to be nice and long. Okay. Next one. We are going to do our tree pose. Okay. And we're going to try to hold it for as long as possible. Tree pose is like this. We're going to take one foot. I'm going to use my right foot. And we're going to put it right here on the inside of our leg. So this is how we bounce. You might have to do this to get a little bit of balance. That's totally fine. And I take whatever leg I'm using and I put it right into the knee. Okay. You can have your hands above your head if that helps you balance a little bit. And the easiest thing to do to stay in balance is to pick a point right in front of you, like you were doing 20, 20, 20, and just stare at it. And that'll help you do that. So we're going to try to stay perfect balance for 10 seconds. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, good morning, six, seven, eight, uh oh, nine, 10. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. So that should feel like a really good stretch. Now we're going to switch. Left leg in. Ready? We're going to go for 10. Arms can be out here. They can be above your head. Look straight ahead and find a spot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. That's another good stretch. So we've done front bend. We've done the tree pose. We've done triangle. Now let's do downward dog. So you're going to need about five feet or so. Okay. We're going to start with our hands shoulder width apart, right there on the ground. Okay. Our feet behind us like this. And all we're going to do is try to push up and back so that we kind of look like an upside down V, okay? And if you're doing it right, you can be up on your toes. Super flexible people are here. If you're doing it right, you feel nice and nice stretch in your lower back. So we're gonna hold this one for 10 seconds. Let me see you do it. Good. See us you really good, bud. One, two, make sure you're pushing into the ground. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Now we're going to do the upward dog. Here we go. This is this is the one we did before was the downward dog. This is the upward dog. So we're going to be right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to we'll do this for five seconds. Look up and push into the ground, and you should be stretching your lower back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So if you do those two together, downward dog, upward dog, you're going to give your lower back a nice little stretch. Okay. Next up is our low plank. Last time we did like 10 seconds. Let's try for 20. Okay. So remember that the low plank. Our arms are shoulder width apart. Okay, so they're not together. That's cheating. They're not out here. That's too hard. Okay. And then when we plank, our elbows are right under our shoulders. Okay. And our behinds not all up in the air and we're not laying on the ground. So when we plank, we try to get a straight line just like that. So it might be really hard for you, but we're going to try to count to 20. Okay, and if, if you try to do anything, make sure that you're not up here. Okay, that makes it too easy. That's kind of like downward dog. So here we go. One, you can count with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Ten. Good job, Vicky. Eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, try to hold it, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, good. Give yourself a break. If you're doing it at home, you should be you're sweating a little bit right now. Okay, so that was the low plank. Now we're gonna do a high plank, it's easier. Instead of being on your knee, on your elbows, you're up here. And see how straight you can keep your back. That is the best thing to do. Your spine is gonna be so happy with you when you do that, okay? So we're gonna try another 20 seconds, but instead of being on your elbows, be all the way up on your hands. Ready, go. Counter with me, one, two. Good job, Miss Tran, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Good. Excellent. Okay. So let's say we had a day where we decided day, right? we wanted to eat Takis and we did it on accident. Or we, we wanted to eat Flaming Hot Cheetos and we did it on accident. Sometimes we make mistakes. It's okay. If you want to get your heart rate up and do a really good exercise, we can do something called burpees. Okay. Some of you have probably already done burpees, but we're going to, we're going to do them right here. All right. We're going to try to do five burpees together. Okay. So a burpee goes like this. If you can't do a push up, that's okay. You can just do this. Okay. So when we were in a burpee, it'll be easier if you see it like this. You would do a push up, get up here, jump, and jump. From this point of view, it's a push up, jump, jump. Okay? If you can't do a push, but it's all at one time, and we can do it as fast as you can, it's a really good workout for you. If you can't do a push up, that's totally okay. Just be here, jump, jump. Be here, jump, jump. Okay? Burpees are something that folks in the army and the military do a lot because they keep you in really good shape. So not only are you using your explosive muscles, you're also gonna get a little bit out of breath and burn off all of those hot Cheetos. Unless you've done like me, and you buy apples, carrots, celery, peanut butter, and multi-green wheat bread, okay? So let's try to do 10 burpees. I said five, let's try to do 10 burpees. So here we go. We're gonna start here. If you can do push-ups, great. If you can't, that's okay too. And we'll try to do them, you try to do them as fast as possible, but with good form. Okay, ready? Here we go. So we're gonna go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. If you're doing it right, you should be out of breath, like I am. Okay. These are the, some of the best exercises that you can do. So let's recap what we talked about today. If you've gone to the store, if you've bought delicious Flaming Hot Cheetos or Takis or Chili Bango treats, remember that there are a lot of things in those that aren't necessarily good for your body. The more sugar we eat, the worse we feel. It affects our mood. It affects how we sleep, okay? And it affects really our concentration level if we get too hyper. A good alternative to that would be purchasing something like wheat bread and peanut butter, carrots and celery, 
or a whole bag of apples, which you could do for the same price as what I showed you. Your body will be happier. That would be you trying to do something good for your body. That's the definition of wellness, okay? But every day, no matter what you eat, make sure that you're exercising 30 minutes. We'll make sure that we exercise every Wednesday when we meet, but you need to start developing your own plan, okay? I'm here in my gym. I spend a lot of time here. I wouldn't need a gym. I could just do this in the living room. So what I want each of you to do, those of you who are here for Wednesday Wellness, excuse me, Wellness Wednesday, is that you start thinking about what is your plan, your personal plan, Marlene's plan, okay? Vicky's plan, Faith's plan, Cornelius's plan to be well. And all of that has to do, I know Cassidy, I know you love candy. Thank you for putting that in the chat. The point is don't eat too much of it. Find out what your plan is gonna be. Start thinking about how you're gonna take care of yourself, okay? So thank you for joining us on Wellness Wednesday. This was great. Tell your friends to show up. Some of your teachers are giving them, for giving you guys extra credit to come here, which is fantastic. Share what you learned today. And it was nice seeing everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.